All right, in this video, we're going to take a look at mounting options for Garmin GPSs for your side-by-side. -side. Here we're inside a Can-Am Defender. So if you have a Ranger, a Viking, or Pioneer, kind of in that same utility vein, this might be helpful. But still, overall, you might be able to get some ideas where you want to mount your GPS here. So here I have my current GPS that I've selected for my side-by-side -side riding, uh, riding, which is the Garmin Tread Base Edition. And I covered this in a previous video of the wiring to install it here. But basically what I did here is I used the provided uh, hardware, plus I bought another RAM mount and mounted it as per the BRP instructions or location where to mount a GPS kit. So with that, with the RAM mount, there are... A lot of options you can do for the location even if you don't want to use a garmin gps obviously the first option is a smartphone so with this location here you can still use the arm the mount and get yourself one of those ram uh, phone clips it can clip it onto your phone now if you want to provide power but then you may want to follow some of the tips or some of the the, the details i showed in the in that video where you can run the wire underneath the dash and plug it in here or you want know, you may want to macgyver it and, and have something like a cigarette or a cigarette or a 12 volt adapter with the usb you can plug in here and then you can charge your phone that way you may have a cable running underneath the usb cable underneath make it all nice and clean so it all depends on what you want to do with that but there are some options here so what if uh, you don't want to say want to do a cell phone you want to keep with the garmin obviously there's a couple of advantages why you probably don't want to use a smartphone when you're doing some off trail or wilderness kind of adventures first thing of course is you're, you're not in cell phone coverage and if like me on my particular phone and my particular network I get down to one bar i really can't use anything i can't use uh, some of the mapping apps it'll take forever to start you know it's just a lot of problems even if when i download stuff offline so you know that might be cumbersome but if you're in an area with full cell phone coverage well then you don't have much of a problem there the other thing too is you have your dedicated maps right for that and garmin has been doing a fairly good job with their new topo active maps and also, especially with the tread, where you get more updated maps more often so that the trail formation is more fresh. Uh, however, you may not have that community feel to it, such as Ride Command, uh, All Trails, Gaia GPS. Garmin don't collect your data, right? When you use a lot of these apps, they'll collect a whole bunch of data, where you're going, all this data, speed, GPS stuff. Uh, these offline GPSs, they don't necessarily do that, provided that you don't upload it to their website. So if you're maintaining tracks on a device and you're just syncing it to your base camp on your computer, standalone, you know, you're not sharing your data, your lo location data and all that stuff. But if you're uploading it to Garmin Explore, Gaia, all these cloud places, then, you know, you got to be aware of what these companies are doing with your data. So... Maybe that's probably why I use um, dedicated GPSs when I'm out there. But if I break it, my GPS, I am not going to cry as much as if I were to break my phone. Because <laughs> my phone is very important to me. But anyway, so that's uh, the smartphone option. What is a couple other, with the RAM mounts, you got a couple other GPS options here that you can do. You have the style, which is the GPS map 66 that you can mount up. Obviously, smaller screen, uh, just as good radio uh, antenna for the GPS reception here. Uh, we'll do everything with your uh, maps. You can sync a lot of stuff. It can't sync as nicely from the Garmin Explore from the tread because the Explore is embedded inside of it. You still got to sync with your phone to get some tracks and routes and all that stuff. But, I mean, it runs can run on double A's or you can power it. And you just need the Garmin clip, uh, RAM mount attachment, which you can find that's been out for like a decade or so. And you can clip it on here, no problem. The other thing that you can probably, uh, other type of GPS is the uh, Montana. Kind of similar in size. Uh, still fairly popular with people who are doing trail cycling. Uh, you know, they have the, the those, these touring uh, bikes that you can do dirt or street. 
uh, this is a fairly good one. The big advantage with using the Montana 700 series, of course, is you still got touchscreen, uh, you have the in-reach capability, but it is still a multifunctional GPS, unlike the Tread, where it is a pure automotive based device which means that there's quite a few things if you're used to the map or the montana there's a few things that it won't do as well or not as easy or not as uh, multifunctional so i couldn't use the tread to go for a ride and then all of a sudden oh, let's do some geocaching or i need to map a waypoint in the brush for the campsite or find the boat launch or something this you can unclip from the mount take it with you and ha again rechargeable battery you got the powered port here so you know you're good to go the only problem with the montana is that it does not have a lot of mounting options now you can still mount it with ram mount but here i bought the handlebar mount when it came out and this one is I don't like it. It's expensive and I don't like it, mainly because of this. You see the screw? This is a locking screw, which prevents you to release the GPS on and mount off the, the mount. So meaning that when you clip it, you gotta, un you gotta unscrew the, the screw, mount the GPS, and then turn the screw back on and then you can't release it. So if you're doing, it's great if you're, if it stays on the vehicle, but again, if you're doing the multifunction stuff and you wanna, you know, you're constantly taking on to clipping it on, clipping it off, this might be annoying. The other thing too, is you can see this is not the powered version. Even though the Montana has the battery, you're good for a day. You probably want powered options, but the powered option mounts are ridiculously expensive. So I really don't know if that's a very viable one. Now, what I've been MacGyvering here is, well, what if I wanna use a Montana on here with the Ram mount? So uh, there's not no easy, clear way, but obviously there's a lot of people who are a lot smarter than me that figured out a way. I just happened to have a 3D printer and I printed out a couple of Ram mounts that are available here. So i got a couple models here, but basically I could use this one. You can see I drill a couple of holes and basically these holes align with these two thing here. So basically I can get this uh, uh, mount on here on the handlebar, get this mounted so that I can mount it on the ram mount if I wanted to. So 3D printed one, it probably won't last in, in the heat <laughs> because of this type of plastic that I use. But at least it provided me an idea that if I were to look for this particular part off the RAM website, then I'll know that I'll be able to uh, mount it on here and then mount it on, on that. All right. So depending on your side by side, you may not have any doors attached or you have doors, but I leveraged some of the pre-drilled holes and I got one of the motorcycle uh, RAM mount options that I could just thread the bolt through here and I can just mount it. Here I have this uh, RAM mount uh, mounted for my GoPro, but if I wanted my GPS on the left side, the dash i can easily move it on this side and i can mount my more uh, smaller gps which is the map 66 in here and i can mount, mount it like here and again if i have the garmin clip i can easily if i want to stop and take the garmin out i can easily clip it off this side as opposed to reaching all the way over here and unclipping it from that mount and that's it quickly my thoughts on mounting the garmin gps in your side by side and some of my thoughts on why maybe you don't want to use a smartphone even though i use my smartphone too but give me your thoughts on this and uh we'll talk to you guys next time